That was Eastern Standard Time again, Don Drummond and the Scatolites. The big trombone that you hear in the back in that in that in that music arrangement is the great Don Drummond. Um, Don Drummond. And and, 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 a, and a quick note on Don Drummond. He is known in my peer review, not us, not our opinion, not the opinion of anybody else, but his peers as one of the greatest Trombone. trombonists to ever walk this planet. Absolutely. In fact, um, yeah, and we will, uh, we will, we will address the, that. Yes, one coming up. One, one of the 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 the, uh, the Marcellus, uh brothers, uh, I think his, I can't remember. His Vinton first. Marcel is he, the, the one who played, who yeah. played, who played. He plays the trombone. Right. Well, he's one of the big. He's the biggest. He's one of the biggest fans for Don Drummond, and thinks that Don Drummond is one of the greatest trombones ever. I think it's Del Fio. Del Fio Marcel. Yeah. That's the name of yeah, yeah, you know. Well, and uh Doc Coxon came into the business. Um a, a young boy, Kingston Barn youth, um, used to play music down at his mother restaurant. Um and yeah. liquor store. They were they what and liquor they, store. And uh, yeah, she had a liquor restaurant and liquor store. And he See, like the music from the early days, a young, a young teenager, and would yeah. um, from time to time go down there, particularly on a weekend, and play um, his blues and jazz, which would have been what yeah. we were listening to at the time. Yeah. And um, well, well, before before he even start to play, you know, yeah. remember how, how the sound system thing came out. Is is his mother who was the the, 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 the the business person who had the, the restaurant and, and liquor store. What they used to do is to use one of those shortwave radios and hook it up to a speaker. Right. And that was that was that was almost like a PA system. And then as as the the sound system kind of movement uh, emerged, that was when he started to play music at, at, at the at the at the 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 the, the premises so it, it it was basically first just about playing music because music was a big part of 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 the, the so ordinary you, jamaican and from a business uh, standpoint it, doc that's how they yeah. use it. they use the music to pull the, the, the so crowd into the restaurant, yeah. right, and into the into yeah. the business place. I think the place was called Nanny's Corner, um, Beeston and Last Street. Yeah, man, Nanny's, Nanny's Corner, Corner. Yeah. right. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's the name of the office, mother. Right. So she. The, Where's the Beeston Street and when? I think Beeston it's a Beeston and, and Love Lane. Beeston Street and Love Lane. Yeah, Love Lane. Love Lane, right. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. They, what happened is. What people don't know, um, uh, well, uh, you know, they, they, my research tells me that Coxon would, from time to time, go over to Duke Reed's place and play on Duke Reed's song because they were family friends. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. Duke Reed was the one who actually introduced him to the big sound system. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, so he got a chance to exercise his selections. Um, you know, those days we listened to a Sarah Vaughan and a Gloria Lynn, and a Billy um, Holiday, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so and, and primarily back in the days, remember the most of that stuff was on Seventy Dark Kim. Right, big, right. Big, uh, locker records because the the, the, the forty five was not popularized. In vogue, yeah. Seventy eight, uh, seventy eight yeah, RPM. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, seventy eight RPM. So, and then thing is, you know, remember, a, a lot of people don't understand that uh, during them time, it was, a, it, the, 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 the Jamaican palette was all about jazz. It was all about uh, middle of the red road pop. And it was all about the, the, the blues and the jump blues and the, and the boogie woogie uh, that, that, that rock and roll that popular. Uh, not, not even rock and roll. Rock and roll came out a little later. Yeah, right. Yeah, later. So it was, and, and, and a lot of people don't remember that uh, there were jazz aficionados in these days. So you had people like Cox, 
and a church you creed was a jazz man. He was a jazz man. Yes, yes, man. He was a big yeah. jazz man too. Yeah. And they have Roy White, who was another uh, jazz man. I had people uh, in that area, yeah, that, the, the first person who had a record store on Orange Street. He was another jazz man. So you had these jazz and official nardos who wanted to play the music and was into jazz and knew what was happening with all of these big uh, jazz greats like, you know, uh, Dizzy Gillespie, uh, Ellington. Uh, you name them. Ellington. Yeah. Um, and, and, and people like uh, Max Roach and, and of course, the great, uh, can't forget them, I oh, forget the name. Uh, the, the trumpeter. Um, um, uh, um, don't tell him. But people like Coltrane. John, John Coltrane. Coltrane. Yes. Yes, yes. And, 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 and so that's the foundation of it. In fact, a, a lot of people. John Coltrane, in fact, we produced a guy, Vinton, Vinton, um, what was his name? Oh my, uh, there's a Jamaican, the uh, Jamaican jazz musician uh, that came out of that 1940s period. And, and I cannot yeah, remember his name. Um, uh, went I to New York. Like Bertie King. Right. Yeah, I, and, like Bertie King. Take, but, but, you know, it, 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 we could spend the whole day on this side of the thing. The reality, though, is that yeah. this introduced Coxon. Coxon also was fortunate enough that during the time, the Jamaican farmer program, uh, which, it, not like now, where it's a kind of bastardized. In those days, you had to be handpicked, and Coxon got a chance to go overseas, particularly in that Florida area, to, to yeah. do some sugarcane cutting. And the money mm -hmm. that he raised, because he wasn't exactly a slouch, you know, <laughs> family have a restaurant, so you can't call him Brock neither, right? But yeah, yeah. He, he went on the program and it introduced him to the music at a deeper level back in, in the United yeah. States. And then he realized, because he also would have be getting orders from people to bring back records. And in addition yeah. to bringing back records for resale, he decided to come back when he, you know, to send on money to build some speaker cabinets. And then he brought back equipment, records, and basically opened the door to him and Coxon's mm. downbeat sound system, right? Um, yep. Uh, yes. Yeah, basically, and, 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 and all of that was financed by his mother. Because a lot of people love to... to they, 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 they don't give his mother enough credit, credit right. for, 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 for being a, a major part of, of, the, of the, the development of the Studio One. Yeah, and also her, her and business acumen. Yeah, yeah, because is she is she uh Coxon learned a lot of the business side of, of, of things from. And so it was after that then the sound system started and then it all started to to blossom. Remember, you know, they look Coxon and the Oakley dance. They look at the the, 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 the dances as as a business. It was definitely a business because they used to own the song. Them used to have the liquor, and they were the promoters <laughs> of the dance. So they they yeah, they they're eating every pot that is on the fire. They are getting a taste yes, out of each pot. Yes, yes. <laughs> they have a hand. Yes, well, it, it, to take the, the conversation even further, because you may you know it's an interesting point you and God just raised about the business side of the thing. Now, while the sound system was was um, taking so life, good. if you will, right. Everybody was there. The, yeah. the the Duke Reed was the pi one among the early pioneers. Um, you had um, Tom the Great, Sebastian around the corner. Then you had um, yeah. what's his name from up? Uh, um, um, King Edward. King, King Edward, Edward the Giant. Edward. Right. And yeah. and you had Thunderbird so, at smaller sound come from Maxwell yeah, Avenue. Up at and Matador came a little later, but it was in the same time too. And uh, you know, so there yeah. was an industry being and, developed. And don't, and don't, and don't, and don't talk about that. And in Wellington Street, you had, uh, oh God, what is the name again? Uh, Jesus, I can't remember his name, but there was another popular sound 
grown at Wellington Street. But uh, what? Romy from Excel is, 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 is that's his son. But okay. I, 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 but I'm, I'm the, but Wellington it. Street was also a location for one of those lands. I think it's a Chocomo land. Chocomo land. land. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. and at that time, the sound system is playing purely um, foreign music until the, 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 you know, a lot of things happening at the same time. The, the talent contest is producing all of this talent. The, these youths are realizing that this is a good way to put a voice out there. Um, Stanley Mota is now recording and, and, and so on. And then we, we know that... Yeah. Um, Stanley Mota started to record Mentor. Right. Stanley recorded Mentor. Mentor, primarily, Mentor. right. Right. Yeah. But yeah. what it was doing, it, it, was, it was saying to the young, youngsters at the time, here's an opportunity to put your voice out. And uh, around the same time now, Coxon came in contact with, um, what's his name? The, the um, Theophilus Beckford, who mm. had done a, a little tune called Easy Snapping. And we, yeah. we're going to give a listen to Easy Snapping because this is really, in terms of what pushed out commercial recording. There were other tunes, mind you, but we want to pay particular attention to this one. Let's give a listen. Easy snapping. Dear Philos Beckford. Hi there. If you enjoy that clip, go on over to our website at yardmedia.com where you can watch the entire broadcast at your leisure. And while you're there, why don't you check out our other reggae music features? And before you leave, pick up some of our Jamaican reggae merchandise and hey, don't forget to tell your friends. My name is Garth, otherwise known as Big G. My name is Richie Blackford.